Dear students, welcome to the module on types of linen and bed making. Here we are going to see the linen is the highest annual cost inventory in the housekeeping department. Hence, getting a good value for the money spent should be an important priority for an executive housekeeper. Therefore, housekeeper must have a thorough knowledge on the composition, construction and the properties of the fabric. Artistic skill of a housekeeper can be executed in the bed making procedure. At the end of this module, you will be able to identify the different types of linen, understand the bed types and size of the bed and demonstrate appropriate skills in bed making. Each individual piece of the linen requires a special consideration in terms of quality, type and sizes and besides the cost. The first one in the bed linen are the bed sheets. The bed sheet should be of good quality with a slight luster and made from a non-grease fabric so as to retain its appearance. For comfort, the texture should be soft and smooth, absorbent and free from the state. The most frequently used are polyester and terricot. Bed sheet should be large enough to be tucked in a securely all around the mattresses. The width of the cutting of the fabric for the bed sheet is approximately 8 meters. Next one in the bed linen is the pillow and pillow cases. The ideal pillow should be either too soft or not too hot. While selecting the pillows, the housekeeper must test the comfort and the longevity. With a proper care, a good quality may require loss for two years. The use of the pillow covers can double the life of the pillow. The pillow case are generally made from the same fabric as that of bed linen. The longer back type which is folded in at the open end will be good. In order to calculate the amount of the material required to, to stitch the pillow case, it is necessary to measure the circumference of the pillow and add 2 to 4 inches to allow the wrinkage and to have a perfect fit. Next one is the blankets. These need to adhere the body in order to provide warmth. In order to be comfortable, they should be smooth, soft and resilient, not too heavy. Wool is often blended with a synthetic fiber. The less durable alternative is made from the nylon fibers. It is suitable for those who are allergic to wool. The electric blankets are uncommon in India and are difficult to maintain and anchor to prevent pilferage. The next one is the duvets or it is also named as a quilts. It is increasingly popular in modern hotels and are fast replacing the blanket, especially on double cot. They consist of filling a sandwiched or stitched in a fabric case with a changeable cover. The fillers may be either made up of feathers of the birds or of synthetic fibers. Many hotels use the quilts with its the cover as a bedspread in which a case of a bottom sheet, the pillow and quilts with the cover are also needed to be make a bed. Duvets are three times lighter than the combined weight of all the linen that covers the guest in a conventional bed making. Either down or the executive quilts filled with a down feathers from the header duck which make them very expensive. Nowadays, cheaper imitations made with the synthetic fibers are available in the markets. Quilts are generally placed under the fold of the top sheet to keep them clean and avoid stain. They provide a warmth and lightweight covering. The warmth quilt is rated as a tox. The average quilts have a rating of 10.5 tox and the warmth one have the higher tox of 11 to 14 whereas the polyester fiber filled quilts have a tox between 8 to 11. Next aspect in the linen is the soft furnishing. These articles have a various function 
Some may be simply decorative, providing color, pattern and textures to the room. Some are protective and others may provide warmth and comfort. Next aspect in the types of linen is a curtains. These often contribute more to the atmosphere of the room than any other item for furnishing. The plain heavy curtains dropping to the floor are used to create a formal setting. Short curtains made of light, brightly patterned fabrics are create an informal, relaxed atmosphere. Apart from creating a desired atmosphere, curtains give a flexible control of privacy, heat, light and to some extent of noise. The various fabrics used for making curtains are cotton, linen, rayon, glass, acrylic and silk for a luxurious settings. Good curtains are usually lined and heavy curtains are interlined. The lining helps the curtain to drape well and also to protect from the sunlight and dust. The curtain materials required for the window is approximately about 15 meters. The heavy fabric is used for public areas and lighter one in the guest. The next one is on cushion covers is also named as upholstery. They must match the decor and the ideal of the type of furnishing to introduce the color, pattern, texture into a furnished room to bring a cheer to the guest room. It is important that they are resistant to dirt. The fabric should not slip or lint. They may be used in scatter cushions. Some may be used as a backrest in chairs. Other may be shaped into to fit the sofas and chair sheets. Cuisines may be made up of varieties of fabrics. The next important aspect in the types of linen is the bath linen. Bath linen comprises of towels, bath mats and shower cat curtains. Towels and bath mats material is made should not be absorbent. The fabric should be very durable and soft. The shower curtains in the hotel should be a waterproof. These include nylon, vinyl, fiberglass or PVC coated materials. Whether white or colored, the fold of plastic curtains tend to be sticky together when hanging wet. Nylon curtains have a better finish and can be obtained in a pastel color or white. The fi fiberglass curtains are very brittle but are soil resistant and resistant to fire, acid and moisture. The next important aspects of the type of linen is the table linen. These have a both practical and aesthetic use. So, napery must be clean fresh and crisps. The tablecloth should consist of a fabric for table linen should be able to resist the stain and retain the color and shape even after frequent laundering. The tablecloth should be sufficiently large and hang 9 inches below the table edge and the fabric should be hemmed on four sides. Next one is on napkins. These are usually made up of 100% cotton or linen as they need to be absorbed. Also, it should be possible to starch them so as to allow them to be folded into a fancy shapes. Next one is on the slip cloth which has been seen on the table linen. These are placed over the table cloth to achieve a contrasting effect and hence normally colored. Next in the table linen is the underlays. It is also named as a base or any other felted materials is suitable for these. Molten is a cheaper alternative. Next one in the table linen is the skirts, frills or runners. The drapeability is an important frequent in these fabrics. Stain made of synthetic fibers are used as they are durable and color fast. Banquet frills may be have a pleats when draping in a table. Various styles may be used when draping with uh, will affect the length of the fabric required. The width of the fabric must be corresponded with the length on, of the table. The last one in the table linen is the waiter's cloth. The waiter cloth should be made up of 100% cotton casement is preferred the fabric for waiter's cloth. The next important aspects in the functioning of the housekeeping department is a bed making and bed making procedure. 
Bed making is an essential part of the hotel accommodation. However, a bed is a piece of a furniture must not only be comfortable but also look and inviting. To make a bed more comfortable, the top layers is frequently used is called as a mattresses. Now we are going to see an overview of bed making. A neatly made up of bed adds greatly to appeal of the guest rooms. The aim of the GRA should make a neat bed efficiently saving both time and energy as fast as possible. The GRA should be an expert in making a bed. He or she should be able to finish making a single bed within a min maximum of 3 minutes and in case of double bed in a maximum of 7 minutes. The materials required to make a bed are stacked in a room at an cart. The bed making involves making a bed with a bed linen already on the bed. Changing or resheating the bed involves stripping of the bed of all soil linen and making the bed with a fresh linen. Some luxury hotels change the bed linen twice a day but many prefer to do it in once a day as part of a water conservation program. In order to make a bed, different types of beds are being required. Totally, 14 types of beds are seen in any types of hotel establishment. Let us learn about these types of bed. A bed that can be adjusted to the number of different positions are called as an adjustable bed. If a bed is being made out of air or filled with the air inflated mattresses, Sometimes connected to an electric air pumps and having a firmness control, it is also named as an air bed. Next type of bed is also called as a box bed. In this, a bed has a large box with a wooden proof inside and tents opening in the front with two sliding panels or shutters. Often used in cottages, sometimes arranged as to fold into a box. Next type is on a day bed in which a couch that is used to seat by a day and bed by a night. The next type of a traditional bed commonly seen in Japan which is named as a futen. Nowadays it has been available in large western hotels. Do you know the bed that have a hinge into the wall or cabinet to save space? Yes, exactly it is a muffle bed or a wall bed. It is also called as a sicko bed. A pallet bed is being made up of the mattresses will be very thin and light in weight. In case of a platform bed where the mattresses is resting on a soiled flat raised surface either free standing or part the structure of the room. When the bedroom space is not enough to fix a cot the roll away bed or a cot is used. This may be used at the time when the guest arrives and it may be made out of twin size metal frame attached into a 4 inch mattresses. A sofa bed is a bed which has been stored inside a sofa. Nowadays we are able to see a vibrating bed which is normally used to overcome the stress and give more comfort and relax. The next type of the bed is called as a double bed. In this type of bed that is bigger than single but smaller than the queen bed. Next comfortable bed is a water bed is a bed or the mattresses combination with the mattresses is being filled with water. Next one is on the studio bed. This is dual purpose bed that is used as a divan in the daytime and bed in the night similar to a sofa bed after removal of the floster and covers. According to the type of bed size vary. Now I am going to discuss with you about the bed sizes. Nowadays beds come in wide array of shapes and sizes. Most countries have a standard setup of four size of mattresses. While the double size appears to be a standard based on the empirical measurements of 4 feet to 6 inches by 6 feet to 3 inches. The size vary for other bed types tend to vary. The modern manufacturing conve conventions have resulted in a limited number of standard size of commercial bedding for mattresses and box spring. 
they vary with their country origin first one is on single or it is also named as a twin belt the standard dimension of the single belt is about 7 inches by 30 39 inches designed for one person these beds are narrow and fit for the smallest bedrooms in case of twin beds the size vary from 5 inches longer than the single bed and half size of king bed next type is on a full bed this type of bed is also known as a double bed the average dimension for double bed is about 7 inches in length and 54 inches in width this implies that just 15 inches wider than the twin size bed this leaving a space of 21 inches for each adult which is much less than the space offered by a twin size bed the standard sized double bed is about 25 percentage smaller than the queen bed that has been provided in any room category next one is on the queen bed the queen is the most popular size today it is easily accommodated to two average size adults the average measurements of the queen bed is about 60 inches by 80 inches this implies that six inches wider and five inches longer than the full bed it is also known as the eastern queen in a queen bed it is about 10 to 25 percentage smaller than the king sized bed but 25 percentage bigger than the standard bed the last concept in the bed size is a king sized bed it is the largest style that is equal to a twin beds normally provided in a deluxe room which is also named as a eastern king the average measurement for the king size best bed is about 76 inches into 80 inches now we are going to see the most important task of a housekeeper to exhibit his or her artistic skill is bed making in general a bed making is a technique of preparing a different types of bed to make a guest more comfortable it requires a technical expert in a hotel because of the sheer volume of beds to be made in a given shift if a room attend has to prepare six rooms as per relevant standards in a shift a good housekeeper has a potential to make 32 beds in this addition to cleaning the rooms here the room attend productivity is being determined by learning a proper procedure for making a bed helps to ensure that the guest comforts and sense of well-being the bed bed is an important part of the guest room's environment earlier earlier the most hotels used to follow a standard methods of bed making but nowadays there are different methods of being used for different properties the common methods of making a bed is followed in a hotels are outlined in this session the traditional method with full tuck in here in this method the bed made up of with all sheets and blankets is stuck in one both sides in case of traditional method with the open side as the name indicates in this method the sheets and blankets are tucked only on one side the seats and the blankets are to be mitted only at the foot of the bed and folded back to the side leaving it open next one is on modern method using a quilt a washable quilt covers is used instead of a bedspread top sheet should be used that the quilt or a blanket does not come in contact with the skin of the guest moreover the blanket may be rough with repeated washing and may irritate the guest's skin the top sheet offers protection against this now we are going to see the procedure for making a traditional bed many housekeepers insist on working on only one side of the bed at a time and move on to the work to the on the other side only when finished with the previous one whatever method is been adapted the housekeeper should not move around the bed using unnecessary steps that could slow down the procedure there are totally about 11 steps are involved to make a bed in a step one remove the soil sheets 
and pillow cases and shake out individually. In step 2, check the lens for dentures and any other belongings to, of the guest before stripping the bed. Next step is on turn down the mattresses side to side on succeeding days followed by end and to turning down so as the air, air it out. In the fourth step, shake out the mattress protector and lay it on the mattresses. Now change the protector that is soiled. In step 5, open out the fresh lower sheet and evenly tuck it sec uh, securely at the head, foot on all, all, all other sides. In step 6, open out the fresh top see, uh, sheet and distribute it evenly over the lower bed sheet and ensure that laundry greases are in the same line as the inner sheet for even distribution. The sheet hem should be evenly pulled out up to the headboard and tuck the sheet at the foot. In step 7, open out the blanket and place it evenly on the top sheet using the crease as described earlier for even distribution. Ensure that the blanket labels at the foot pull out the blanket to about 4 inches from the headboard. In the step 8, fold the top sheet at the head of the bed over the blanket and fold the sheet and the blanket once again. In the step 9, the blanket and the top sheet are together tucked uniformly on both sides while the corners at the foot of the beds are neatly mitted. In case of step 10, the cover pillows with the fresh pillow slips, the pluff the pillow and even out the pillow slips to look neatly and tidy. Since pillow slips are larger than the pillows and excess slips should be neatly folded downwards, the sides of the pillow in which is fold should be placed away from the guest view. Next one is on the step 11, cover the completed bed with the bed spread or with the bed cover, ensuring that the right side is up and is falling evenly all around the bed. Keep the extra bed spread towards the head board to crease in between the pillows so as to make a bed look more appealing. The bed spread corner should be aesthetically done. Let us learn about the most efficient method of making a bed. The strip the cloth from the bed onto the chair and turn the mattresses occasionally unless made to lactose. When a housekeeper work from the side, he have to replace under the blankets and put on the bottom sheet right side up and tuck in all around making a method at four corners. Now put on the top sheet the wrong side to reach just behind the head. Put on the blanket separately to reach just short of the top sheet but the quilt if used. The fold of one bottom corner and turn over the sufficient of the sheet and blankets at the top of the level and place the pillows. Approximately 60 centimeters and tuck in that side and repeat to the another side. Now replace the pillow with open ends away from the door and finally put the bed sheet. To summarize this module, we have learnt about the types of linen items that go into the guest room. They are the bed linen, bed spreads, pillow, pillow cases, blankets, uh, quilts. In case of uh, soft furnishing like curtains, twist, uh, cushions and bath linen like towels, bath mats and shower uh, curtains and finally the table linen include napkin slip cloth, underlay, frills and waiter's cloth. Also in this lesson we have dealt in detail about how to make a bed. Bed is made up of a foam mattresses normally used for comfort and relaxation. Bed generally comes in a wide array of shapes and sizes. Most of the countries have their own 
set of four sizes of bed or mattresses. The bed making is an art and technique of preparing a different types of bed to make a guest more comfortable during the stay.